All right, there are some uh, new developments today on the balloon incident that captured America's attention. You couldn't go anywhere yesterday without people knowing exactly what you were talking about. Uh, moments from now, Larimer County Sheriff's uh, Department is going to hold a news conference, a uh, press conference. We're going to take you there. But by now, you've all come to know this uh, family, Falcon, the littlest boy there, and his family. And now there's a lot of questions out there about exactly what happened here. After an awkward interview with the family, now the sheriff says he wants to re-interview the Heenies, uh, and that man joins us now on the phone, Jim uh, Alderden. He is the Larimer County Sheriff. Sheriff, good to have you here. Welcome. Thank you, Martha. So what, what's happened here? What, what's your latest thinking on what really went down here yesterday? Well, let me, let me say this. Based on our interviews yesterday with the family and our total interaction with the family, we believe that this was a legitimate incident and not a hoax. Uh, we still believe that. However, in light of the interview that occurred last night on uh, CNN with Wolf Blitzer and a little boy saying something to the effect of we did it for the show, we think we have an obligation to go back and try to clarify that with the family and you know, put this issue to rest as to whether it was some sort of a publicity stunt or not. So we intend to do that. We had hoped to do that today. But again, looking at the uh, media interviews that were conducted this morning, the, the boy being sick, uh, obviously nobody had got any sleep last night. We think it would be in the best interest of furthering our investigation to wait until the family is rested and try to conduct that interview tomorrow. Uh, and they're they're on board with that. They're happy to talk to you tomorrow. Actually, we have not contacted them yet. We understood that they were going to bed this morning after some of the interviews, and we decided to uh, not contact them yet, but to give them a little bit of time to uh, rest and decompress. Uh, do you have any indication that the family's hired an attorney or anything along those lines? No, we haven't even heard that suggestion. Okay. You know, what's odd to me, when you look at the tape from, uh, there was a tape on one of the morning shows that showed this thing actually taking off from the backyard. I've and heard the, that. the two parents are standing it. around it and they kind of let it go and they're standing there and they're watching it. And it's quite clear when it takes off from their backyard that it looks exactly like it looks here. There's never anything attached to it, no basket attached to it that we heard so much about yesterday. Right. It looks exactly like it looks right here. And they seem pretty happy and they let the ropes go and it floats up that that seems weird to me well if you if you've seen the photographs there is there's not a basket and i think it was somewhat miscommunicated to us at the beginning as to what this thing looked like and i think perhaps we described it as a basket but there's a cargo container that's about four foot diameter and 18 inches high uh right underneath the uh milo or the aluminum skin and that, that is a compartment that contains a battery, and it's actually got a door to it. And that's yeah. where the child had been trying to crawl in and out and had been shagged out of there earlier that morning. Right. Now, let me just ask you one more question. A lot of people look at the tape, and they hear the dad talking, and, and you know, other folks who are parents, and it's very hard always to judge how you're going to respond to these situations, uh, feel that, you know, that they... You know that there it seemed a little bit insincere at some moments now did you have that impression when you spoke with him or the mother no actually our staff did not our staff spent a lot of time interviewing the parents and they spent the entire day and their emotions their uh, nonverbal communications their uh, body language was very appropriate for the circumstance okay. as the situation developed but clearly when they did the interviews last night i mean they'd gone through a horrific day uh I've, fatigue was pretty obvious so I'm not sure that we were seeing uh, the real them I think they were worn down by that right. point but that's just my opinion. Fair enough. Alright uh, Sheriff Alderman thank you very much good luck my with all this and we'll look forward to your news conference we'll tune in for that as well. Thank you sir. Uh